It's a hot, humid day. And Steve and Ted have worked up a sweat playing baseball. It'll feel good to get out of the hot sun. Inside, it's much cooler. That's because Ted has an air conditioner. This is one kind of cooling device. The refrigerator in the kitchen is another kind of cooling device. How does it work? A basic principle of refrigeration is that cold is the absence of heat. To make something like lemonade cold, it's necessary to remove heat. Let's see how heat is removed from a refrigerator. We'll begin by looking at the basic working parts. This model of an electric refrigerator shows the condenser, the compressor driven by an electric motor, and cooling coils which run through the freezer. The coils are usually made of metal but transparent plastic has been used here to show liquid inside. As the liquid boils inside the tubing, it removes heat from the refrigerator. To understand how, let's consider another liquid more familiar to us, water. You've seen things cooled by water. In ironing, sprinkling water over the material being pressed helps prevent wrinkling. It also prevents the cloth from getting too hot. Water absorbs much of the heat from the iron. As the water absorbs the heat, it evaporates, changing to steam. Heat is absorbed whenever a liquid evaporates. So evaporation is a cooling process. This principle applies to all liquids. Rubbing alcohol is another example. An alcohol rubdown gives you a soothing, cool feeling. The alcohol cools the skin because it evaporates quickly, even at body temperature. As it evaporates, changing from a liquid to a gas, the alcohol absorbs heat from the skin. So alcohol cools by evaporation. Consider another liquid, Freon. The Freon has been kept in a vacuum bottle because it has a very low boiling point. So low that when it is poured into the test tube, the Freon changes from a liquid to a gas almost instantly. This rapid evaporation absorbs heat quickly, bringing the temperature in the tube down below zero Fahrenheit. This liquid, Freon, is the refrigerant used in most home refrigerators today. As the refrigerant evaporates in the coils of a refrigerator, it absorbs heat from inside the refrigerator, keeping it cool. This is the essential principle by which a refrigerator works. In this animated diagram, you can see that as the refrigerant evaporates, changing from a liquid into a gas, the gas is not released into the air. Instead, it is channeled through the tubing leading down into the compressor. The compressor compresses the gas, forcing it into the condenser coils under great pressure. Under this pressure, the gas condenses, becoming a liquid again. Back in its liquid form, the refrigerant is ready to be released once again into the cooling coils. The refrigerant is used over and over, evaporation, condensation, and evaporation again. The refrigerant is moved by the compressor, which is powered by an electric motor. So electricity supplies the energy. In a gas refrigerator, gas provides the energy. At the bottom of the refrigerator is a burner where the energy from gas is released as heat. The heat from this flame provides the energy needed to move the refrigerant to where it will evaporate in much the same way as the refrigerant evaporates in the coils of an electric refrigerator. As a refrigerant evaporates, remember, it absorbs heat. But what happens to this heat? 
the heat is carried by the gas to the condenser. Here, the gas gives up its heat as it is condensed back into a liquid. In this way, the refrigerator absorbs heat from one place and releases it at another. To keep this heat from returning to the cooling coils, the coils are separated from the condenser by the refrigerator box. Heat is moved outside the box, keeping things cool inside. That's how the refrigerator works. An air conditioner works in much the same way as a refrigerator. Removing the case reveals the working parts. These parts are similar to the ones used in the refrigerator. In front are the cooling coils, where heat is absorbed by the refrigerant as it evaporates. From the cooling coils, the gaseous refrigerant moves along tubing to a compressor just as in the refrigerator. Here, the gas is compressed and pumped into condenser coils. In the condenser coils, heat is released from the refrigerant as it is condensed from a gas back into a liquid. Near the condensing coils in the air conditioner is a fan. The fan blows air across the coils, speeding the removal of heat. So heat is released from the condensing coils after being absorbed at the cooling coils, just as in the refrigerator. Unlike the refrigerator, the air conditioner does not have its own insulated box. Instead, the room in which it is mounted is its box. The front part of the air conditioner, where heat is absorbed, extends into the room. The back part of the air conditioner, where heat is released, extends outside. In this way, heat is removed from inside the house. This is how an individual room air conditioner works. This office building does not have an individual air conditioner for each room. Instead, it has one large air conditioner, which is part of a central air conditioning system. This is the outdoor unit where heat is released. Through the grill, you can see a large fan which blows air across the condenser coils. Inside the building, in this unit, are the cooling coils. A fan circulates air from the cooling coils up through the metal ductwork to the various rooms. In each room, there are two sets of vents. Near the floor are vents through which the cool air is blown into the room. As the cool air absorbs heat from the room, it becomes lighter and rises toward the ceiling. Having absorbed heat from the room, the air reaches another set of vents, where the air is drawn out of the room to be cooled once again. This animated drawing shows how the air circulates through the room. We call this process convection. Convection currents like these are also found in a room having an individual air conditioner. This is how warm air is brought to the air conditioner to be cooled and recirculated. In this room air conditioner, you can see a fan, which helps circulate the air. In normal use, the fan is hidden behind a protective grill, which has a filter to remove dust from the air. The temperature of the air is controlled by a thermostat. The air moving through this air conditioner, remember, is cooled in much the same way as these drinks were cooled in the refrigerator, by the removal of heat. Whenever we cool something, we absorb heat from one place and move it to another. You've seen how this is accomplished by refrigeration and air conditioning. Thank you.